What is going on? Did you see this? Well, if you're a DC fan or a Wonder Woman fan, you've probably seen this picture. One, <laughs> the headlines will be great for this. Wonder Woman decapitated people. There is this picture that I think came out, I don't know how, it's not officially from Zack Snyder. At least I didn't see in his Vera account. But there is this striking image of Wonder Woman. It's an alternate picture from Batman Superman and Wonder Woman picture of World War One but set in the Crimean War, whatever war that is. I didn't know about that a lot. It's like an alternate past. I'm pretty sure the internet has opinions about it right now. I cannot imagine someone looking at that and not having an opinion. I'm here just to express how I feel about it because I'm a huge DC fan. I'm a huge Wonder Woman fan, of course, but I'm, I'm a huge DC EU fan. Since the Snyder days, since um, Man of Steel, Batman with Superman, and now with the triumphant Snyder Cut. This is not this is not the video that's gonna be the best source for you to know what the hell is going on. I myself have very little context to that. If you have information, you can let me know in the comments and you can exchange information in the comments for, from people who might know. Um, I'm here just to express how I feel about it because it's just, I'm, I'm blown away. The obvious thing is that it is an alternate um, past from uh, Batman with Superman that Batman would have as a clue to the Diana history. What I could gather beyond that is that um, in that timeline, it's interesting, I, I guess in that world Zack Snyder might even have um, directed a Wonder Woman movie. That's the Crimean War which was, which was in the 18, 1850s and Wonder Woman would have gathered uh, the best of the best soldiers to fight gods that were intervening in that war. The most absurd thing is having Wonder Woman holding heads. And it's so striking because we have an image of Wonder Woman now. Wonder Woman now. We have this image of Diana, the peace warrior. This contrast is one of the best things about the character. But in that version, she seems much more brutal and it's it's crazy that it's Gal Gadot. It's, Gal, it's like in the the, the 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 picture, it's not just an effect, it is physically done like a note picture. And you look at it and it instantly gives us uh, uh, an idea of a past, that it's much more of a picture. That's why it was so effective in the first place, in the, in the Batman v Superman movie. I mean, I have, I have the, the art book of Bat Batman v Superman. This is the outer cover and this is the cover. It's very minimalistic. And we have the classic picture here. We have a section on Wonder Woman that's in the very end. Oh, look at, look who's here, Zaddy. I'm sorry. And, uh, oh, and then we, the Trinity. Oh my God, I love this. And we have this picture, this picture itself sends a huge, uh, has a huge physical impact. Again, it is also made in that style. But what's striking is how it looks like it's another Wonder Woman. It's a different Wonder Woman. The idea that Wonder Woman would be severing people's heads is, uh, I mean, this is gonna make headlines, isn't it? Again, Zack Snyder destroys another DC character. Um, but it's just so, um, brutal and uh, uncomfortable to to have that notion in your head that this one woman would do that, which also s sparks this this conflict of the peacemaker and the warrior. What I heard is that those are not human heads; those are gods. The idea that they are gods alleviates that that feeling of being uncomfortable, and also makes me yearn for it. I would, I mean, it's water under the bridge, it's gone, but there is a Flashpoint movie coming. And we know that within that movie, everything is possible. So it would be interesting, at, at least as a gag or as a hint, we saw that picture maybe, you know, Batman going through the different, uh, possibilities, timelines, 
comes across that picture and brings to Diana, maybe it would be interesting. But do I necessarily want that Diana? I do. It doesn't mean I don't like the Diana we have. This picture has this beautiful, uh, different cultures represented through these characters. That was beautiful. And it's one of the things that Zach's, Zach really fights for is diversity in uh, his movies. In that war, which was around Christianity, it would make sense to fit the idea of the Greek gods trying to entice it and, and uh, make it become more brutal than it needs to be. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it. I'm still processing it. I just, I'm, I've been looking at this picture for 20 minutes, half an hour, and it just hits you. It's incredible. And uh, it's one of those things, man, the, the world that could have been, the, the world of the DCEU. And uh, yeah, it's a constant, we suffer as, fan of, as fans of the DCU due to the uncertainty, but, uh, but I mean, we have much more, we have much more joy, I feel, in how it varies and, and how crazy it can get. And um, yeah, that was insane and I wanna see more of it. I want more. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like to the video if you like this, Tell me what you think and tell me what you know, because I want to know. And uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.